Psalms chapter 46 through 50. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in a roar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spears. He burns the shield with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdues nations under us, people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God. Sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises, for God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of God of Abraham, for the kings of the earth belongs to God. He is greatly exalted. Great is the Lord, and the most worthy of praise, in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth, like the heights of Zephon in Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astonished. They fled in horror. Trembling seized them there, pain like of that of a woman in labor. You destroy them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by the east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God. God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O Lord, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O Lord, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers and consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generations. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Hear this, all you people. Listen, all who live in this world, both low and high, rich and poor alike. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The meditation of my heart will give you understanding. I will turn my ear to a proverb. With the harp, I will expound my riddle. Why should I fear when the evil days come, when wicked deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches? No one can redeem the life of another or give to a God a ransom for them. The ransom for a life is costly. No payment is ever enough, so that they shall live on forever and not see decay. For all can see that the wise die, that the foolish and the senseless also perish, leaving their wealth to others. Their tombs will remain their houses forever, their dwellings for endless generations, though they had made lands for themselves. People despite their wealth, 
do not endure. They are like beasts that perish. This is the fate of those who trust in themselves and of their followers who approve their saying. They are like sheep and are destined to die. Death will be their shepherd, but the upright will prevail over them in the morning. Their forms will decay in the grave, far from their priestly mansions. But God will redeem me from the realm of the dead. He will surely take me to himself. Do not be overawed when others grow rich, when the splendor of their houses increase, but they will take nothing with them when they die. Their splendor will not descend with them. Though while they live, they count themselves blessed, and people praise you when you prosper, they will join those who have gone before them, who will never again see the light of day. People who have wealth but lack understanding are like the beasts that perish. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me this consecrated people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for he is a God of justice. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I will bring, I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or a goat from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle of the thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thanks offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call on me on the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked person, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instructions and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But now, but I now arraign you and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you into pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thanks offerings honor me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. 